This week's video is gonna be a little bit different than our typical weekly release because we wanted to show you one of the main reasons why we chose to live in Italy. Recently, we got to lead a group trip through Venice and Florence, and we got to share our love of travel with some new friends. And make sure you stick around to the very end because we have a couple of very exciting announcements. We hopped on a train and made our way to meet our new friends in one of our favorite cities in the world. We were lucky enough to be joined on this trip by two incredible families, the Jorgensons, Craig, Charlotte, Liv, and Thora, and the Stranathans, Peter, Leslie, Josiah, and Eleanor, and our dear friend Ori who helped us pull this whole trip off. So there are a number of ways to get around Venice, but the best way is a private vintage wooden water taxi. Today we are headed to the island of Murano. Hi! <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> oh, it's a video. <laughs> All right, so we have just arrived over to Murano, which is famous for glass blowing. Last time we were here, we found a fantastic spot to take everyone to see a glass blowing experience. I'm going to make um, a garden bed and imagine what it's going to look like. So today we have come to Santa Chiara on Murano Island, and we are going to have a glass blowing experience in this old church. This beautiful medieval church, now called the Glass Cathedral, was recently restored and is one of the most ancient structures on the island of Murano. So glass blowing on Murano is a very ancient uh, tradition here that they're very proud of. The craftsmanship and technique that's used during this demonstration is astounding. You really can't go wrong. It is definitely a must do if you're coming to Venice. If you're watching this video thinking you might want to join a group trip with us someday, then please stick around to the very end for more information because we want to do a lot more trips like this, whether they are family friendly like this one or an adults only trip. But if you're watching this video thinking you've always wanted to travel to Venice, but you just don't know how, whether that's logistically or financially, then let me tell you that's exactly why we've created our travel hacking course. So we're now adding an entirely new segment to the course for how you can affordably travel to Venice, including the flight, all of the accommodation, the food and the activities, for less than $500 per person. The travel hacking course is now live at our website, raisingvoyagers.com. I'll tell you a little bit more about the details later, but for now, let's get back to the video. So having this group trip start here in Venice is really special for us because this is one of our favorite cities in all of Italy, really in the world. We love Venice so much. It's really, really a special place. It's one of those cities where everywhere you go, it looks just like the pictures that you imagine it to be. And the further you get off the beaten path, actually the more magical it is. So we are really, really happy to have some new friends here with us exploring the city together. I'm so strong. 
down. <laughs> so we're in a Leonardo da Vinci museum. Yeah. And we're learning about all the different little yeah, like machines. Things. Some yeah, of and them. it's interactive. Yeah, so some, it's really no, cool. some of them. Some of them. Yeah, some of them are interactive. So riding on a gondola in Venice is probably the most touristic thing that you can do here in the city and probably in all of Italy, but it is the best thing ever and it really does live up to all of the hype. It's absolutely something that you must do when you come to Venice. It's my favorite thing to do in the city. So Venice can be a very tricky place to navigate with all of the crowds. So we've gone from the busy and chaotic San Marco Square, which is a must-see, but you have to see it properly. You have to see it early, very early in the morning because it quickly gets busy. And we've gone from that chaotic, crazy scene across the river to San Giorgio, where we will experience a very unique labyrinth and the best view of Venice. Today we are here walking through a labyrinth, which is different than a maze. It kind of feels like a core maze, but it's actually set up to where there is a beginning and there is an end and you walk through and it's supposed to be a metaphor for life and how it's all about the journey. <laughs> it's all about the journey, not about you know the beginning or the end. It's about what's in the middle. Um, <laughs> but we feel a little silly right now because it's very, very skinny bushes that we're walking through, just kind of winding our way around. But I think the kids are having fun. <laughs> I know. That, that just leads to this path. <laughs> Apparently you can get lost in a labyrinth and we've done it. <laughs> so 15 minutes in, I think we're all slightly regretting our decision. We can't figure out how to get out. We made it. I think we finished. Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> That was silly. So here's a quick tip for Venice. If you're coming and you want to have a fantastic view, there is plenty of towers you can climb, but most of them have a two to three hour long wait, especially in the summer. But if you take a boat across to San Giorgio and climb the tower, there's no wait and the view is far superior. This is the old clock tower that is attached to the San Giorgio church. And every 30 minutes, the bells go off, which go off in just a minute here. I think the kids are in for a surprise. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Five. <laughs> it's delayed. Heather's trying to be gluten free. <laughs> I've been having some allergy issues that I'm trying to figure out, so I've been giving up gluten and dairy. And today I'm having a bowl of beans for lunch. Because Italy does not do gluten free. No, a lot of places have gluten free pasta and are actually really gluten, gluten free friendly, but not this place. <laughs> so I have a bowl of beans and raw onion on top. After lunch, we packed up and headed by train to our own private villa in Tuscany. So we have just arrived to this incredible villa here in Tuscany. We're gonna spend the next three nights here as our base to explore Tuscany. 
but it is straight to bed for us because we have a very bright and early morning tomorrow. Well, we made everyone get up at 5 a.m. for a 5.30 bus ride because we have something very special planned that can be only experienced if you're willing to get up super early. And 5.30 a.m., everyone good? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, so we just arrived in Saturnia, the hot springs, natural hot springs. This just takes my breath away. This is beautiful. to these incredible hot springs here in Tuscany. This is one of those places where you see it on Instagram and you think it cannot possibly be that beautiful. And let me tell you, it is. This is the most incredible thing. It is so warm, so beautiful. We are loving it. These are rocks. They're yeah, all, all over the bottom of yeah. oh, this pool. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't like it. I see. They're all like it. Like what it. in the world? They're all warm up here. Like it's cool. So what's amazing is this entire hot spring is fed by a thermal river. And all of these pools were naturally formed. None of this was created by man, which is so incredible to think that all of these pools in the perfect shape and size of a hot tub formed perfectly naturally. It's incredible, it's so magical. So on the way back from Saturnia, we've stopped at Pitigliano, which is the most picture perfect medieval city perched on top of this mountain. We're just kind of wandering around, learning a little bit about the city, but the views are spectacular. So good morning from our beautiful villa here in Tuscany. Actually losing my voice because we've just all been chatting so much and having fun. Today, everyone's just kind of sleeping in. Brady's making us an incredible breakfast. We're gonna spend the day hanging out in the villa, maybe going swimming if the water is warm enough. And uh, then we have some other fun activities planned for the rest of the day. So admittedly, I've done a fairly terrible job picking up the camera this week. We've been having way too much fun chatting and playing games, swimming in the pool. The kids have been playing fairy gardens all week long. But tonight we are heading out for our very last experience here in Tuscany. We are now all hopping in some vans and heading to a nearby vineyard where we're going to do a vineyard tour. We're going to do a cooking class where we get to cook our own dinner tonight. I think it's gonna be a blast. So of course, Tuscany is famous for its vineyards and we have come to arguably one of the best in the area. This is the Baraki Vineyard. And not only are we going to be walking around and learning about the wines, but we're gonna end the day with a fantastic cooking class. So right now we are exploring their most treasured cellar where the wine here rests for 42 months, resting inside of its own yeast. We'll learn how they then freeze the yeast to extract it out of the bottle before finally bottling it for consumption. So it's not every day that you have a Michelin star chef available to teach you how to make Italian pasta. Today we're learning how to make peachy, which is, in my opinion, the best pasta from the Tuscany region. So I think this is a special moment for all of us, learning how to cook proper Italian pasta. Not just that, but in this environment where you step out and you see the view of Tuscany just off in the distance, a beautiful view of Cortona on the mountain there. This is just a spectacular environment. 
while we wait for our pasta to rise, we are making desserts. We are making a strawberry. I, I don't know. Penna cotta. Penna cotta. I needed that you choose the, the small one for me, for the decoration. Okay? Garnish. So you get to find the small one. I just put it inside. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> So for our first stop in Florence, we have come to the most famous sandwich shop in all of Florence. The funny story here is they're so famous, they had a one, two, three hour wait. So what they did is they bought three storefronts all next door to each other. So now you have three identical, small little hole in the wall places and every single one now has a one hour wait. If you wanna skip the wait, you have to come at 10 a.m., which is exactly what we did. So now we're gonna have a little bit of an early lunch. So we have come to Ponte Vecchio, which in Italian actually means old bridge. And this is the oldest bridge in Florence. It dates back to the Roman era. Today, it's been rebuilt a couple of times from flooding damage, but now there are these beautiful shops that cover the entire span of the bridge. It gets quite busy, quite touristy, but it is absolutely worth coming and visiting just to see. So one fun thing to do in Florence, especially for the kids, is this little magic pig, as we're calling it. It's a warthog, and if you rub his nose and then put a coin in his mouth and drop it, it's meant to be good luck for another trip to Florence. Good job. Everybody good? Everyone's perfect. Ciao. So of course Florence is a walking city, but come on, we've been walking all week long. So we've rented some golf carts, and we're gonna have a city tour on golf carts. Andiamo! All right, so how cool is this? Even though we're only staying one night in Florence, we managed to find a couple of apartments all together right in the heart of the city with a beautiful overlook across Florence. And on the other side, you can actually see the Domo. Oh my God. Oh, this is cool. So for me, there's nothing better than finding an awesome lookout point. So we are climbing a lot of stairs to get to the top of this tower for what I think is the best view of Florence. Alexa, how are you doing? <laughs> Just a few more steps, right? Sorry, there's like 10 more steps. I'm practicing my British accent. <laughs> Sorry. Are you regretting your decision? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. We can do it. Okay. It takes about 20 flights of stairs to get up here. We got a sneak peek, and it's worth it. 
I can take it. So the climb is always worth the view. This point right here, looking over Florence, is stunning. You've got the Duomo right in front of you. It is the best view in all of Florence. If you're coming to Florence, the funny thing is, just like what we said in Venice, the other towers that people always climb are two to three hour long waits. There is no wait here. You do have to book a ticket. There is limited quantity available throughout the day, but it is the best view and there's no wait. Sadly, our week together had come to an end, but the friendships developed this week have only just begun. So we've always wanted to do a group trip. This is something we've talked about for years. I think we were a little nervous, to be honest. Uh, it's very different leading a group versus leading our own family. But I, I mean, travel has been such a huge part of our lives that we've always, we want to share that, like, you know, and... And really the trip was so fun and it was so much better than I even could have anticipated. We really can't wait to do another one. I want to do another one. It wasn't just about traveling. It was actually, we got to build lifelong friendships with these other families and the girls have been video chatting and it's been really, really special. So originally we had planned on announcing a brand new specific group trip, but we decided last minute to pause and instead collect your feedback because we want to know if you want to join a group trip, what would you want out of that? Would you want it to be a family friendly group trip like what we had? Would you want it to be an adult only? trip? Would you want it to be a more adventurous trip? Perhaps Turkey. I know I really want to do a Turkey uh, group trip. Or would you like to stay just in a house somewhere and do more of a hangout? So if you would be interested in joining something like that, we've left the previous group trip website still live. So you can kind of take a look at that, mostly because I didn't have time to change anything. <laughs> um, but I did change out um, instead of like the, the book the trip button, it'll just be a button where you can leave your email address. And then you'll actually be able to go through and fill out a survey so you can kind of vote for what kind of group trip you would like to go on. So if that's interesting to you, go to RaisingVoyagers.com, find the group trip section of the website and fill out your email and let us know what you would want to do. We will only be announcing this trip via email and Instagram. So make sure you are following us over there and you sign up for this list. If a group trip is not for you, but you do want to get out there and travel more and learn how we do it more affordably, we do have a travel hacking course. I think in November we first released this travel hacking course and it was the culmination of years and years and years of us learning how to travel affordably. We have a huge passion in teaching people how to travel affordably. We've been to almost 40 countries as a family together and the only reason we've been able to do that is because we've learned how to book international flights for as little as $10 or comfortable accommodation starting at $20 a night, which I know sounds insane <laughs> and there's like people do this thing where all oh, that's too good to be true it can't be possibly true but it is true it is, yeah. it is true like we have the receipts showing like our last <laughs> flight i forgot off the top of my head i think it was five dollars and sixty cents per person to fly from ohio to italy that's insane yeah. And like, I want people to know it is possible. So that's why we created this course. It's a multi-hour, because it's a long conversation, let's face it. It's a multi-hour course on how to do everything step by step. I think we even talk about how to book one of those like crazy $10,000 first class suites. Which we haven't done yet and I really want to do. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't done it because it's really hard to do with kids. That's the only reason why. We need to do like a, 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 a Heather and Yeah, Brady let's do that. First, first class suites. <laughs> you literally can book it for $95 when it should cost 10000 Yeah. But we are revamping it to add a whole section specifically about what we did in Venice because we've been to Venice a lot. Venice is a very difficult city to navigate. It is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and yet when I talk to friends mm -hmm. who have been there they say well I didn't really enjoy my time which breaks my heart it's heartbreaking be <laughs> because I, I get it because it is a difficult yeah. city to navigate it's a difficult city to do affordably mm -hmm. but you can see the average flight to Venice from America is about fifteen hundred dollars the average hotel night stay is four hundred on the yeah, low end that's yeah but you can do it for much less. You can book those flights for 10 to $30. You can book accommodation starting at $50 a night, very comfortable accommodation. Mm -hmm. You can do an entire trip as low as $500 a person. And I just, I want, I want people to know that. Yeah. So I'm putting in a ton of time 
like a whole nother hour of course just on how to travel Venice specifically because I know there are a lot of you who want to do that. If you've already signed up for the course, now all of this new content is completely free. That's the beauty of how we're doing this. We plan on constantly updating this over the next several years and you just buy it once and all the new information is completely for free, which if you're interested right now is the best time to buy it because we are marking it down to the lowest price we've ever had. I don't know, I get excited because I, I, want, I want people to know how to travel affordably because everyone's held back so much, which is why I get so fired up. <laughs> If, if that's interesting to you, go to RaisingVoyagers.com, find our travel hacking course on the website and check it out. But that's it for us. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. We will be back to a normal video next Sunday. See Thanks you for watching.